you can see also the blind spot in the corner there of the mirror and right now the car is just regenerate back the energy all right guys welcome back to a new video today we have right here Toyota Yaris 2022-2023 model I can't wait to see the facelift probably uh, at the end of this year will be really interesting to see it but until the facelift will come out today we will do the test drive and I will give you my feedback and why I choose this one. I also test drive it before when the car was released uh, around two years ago, but this time we have the full hybrid version. This is the premium edition and it's really, really interesting. I will have a full review with it, exterior, interior. We will talk about design. We will talk about options. We will talk about interior and uh, material quality price and all that stuff. But in this video, it's all about driving and the car come with seven inch rims optional they look fabulous on the car in combination with this gray color uh, but more about that we will talk in the review video I'm really curious how is to drive with with those 17 inch rims of course we have brake discs on the rear and ventilated brake discs on the front now this is the key the simple key from Toyota what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car but the car come also with keyless entrance that means if you put your finger here you will see the car will lock electronic folding mirrors electric folding mirrors and also the quality uh it's it's quite good on the doors and on the handles going inside here we have a beautiful white interior but more about that in the review video manual adjustable seats normal pedals let me go inside i like very much this white interior and more i like this gorgeous glass roof all over here but more about that don't miss out the review video i will leave the key here now a few info about the car before we start i have the 1.5 liter petrol engine uh, version full hybrid with me right here that comes with this automatic transmission cvt the power of the car 116 horsepower because the car come with two uh, motors one electric motor that drive the front wheel by the way this is the front wheel version the car come also in all-wheel drive version but this one uh, it's front wheel drive version and the electric motor and the petrol engine will drive the front wheel and together uh, the power is 116 uh, horsepower 4.3 liter is the estimated consumption 98 grams co2 emission 1255 kilograms uh, the price of the car here at emil frey in Zugville. by the way if you're in switzerland around switzerland i will leave the link in the description check out Emil Frey in Zugville if you want to see drive the car or uh, buy it the price of the car starting price 31,100 francs but with optional like panoramic glass roof metallic color and car kit will go the price will go to 32,940 francs I will add the price in dollar so you can make an idea and all these options are included right here but more about that we will talk in the review video now let's drive the car guys I'm super excited to drive it and first of all let me put the seat belt I will adjust the steering wheel in a manual way up down left right also manual adjustable here electric adjustable mirrors the car come with all that all that safety features guys like blind spot technology adaptive cruise control emergency brake and also we will test it in this video first of all before we start the car have also a nice graphic there that shows you what happened with the battery and with the consumptions but with the energy i mean but i want to also reset the consumption and we will see what consumption we will have in the end of the trip i hope i don't forget that because sometimes i really forget it uh here we have the old multimedia system i can't wait to see the facelift with the new one now the car is started here we have some buttons ev mode mean that you drive only in electric mode if the ev mode is available uh that means if you have enough battery and uh, the engine is hot it's warm here we have like electric handbrake auto hold this is awesome driving mode we have like free driving mode power mode echo mode and normal mode we will try in we will drive in echo mode first of all and then traction control this is the stalk for changing the gear some story space here and if we go in reverse the car come with a reverse camera not the best one on the market but it's very useful uh, and then you have d mode and b mode b mode is for more regenerative brake if you release the acceleration the car will regenerate more energy if i remember well i think this is it we will we will test it anyway now 
let's drive the car first of all let me go in reverse i want to turn around here the great part is that this is the full hybrid in my opinion full hybrid these days if you don't have the option to charge the car every day at home or work it's better to go full hybrid because you are able to drive in electric mode at low speed like that in the city most of the time and also in the same time you don't have to recharge the car all the time you know like this is an advantage you will save a lot of uh, energy and also you drive kind of clean kind of silent and i like that the car comes also with a head-up display directly on the windshield i like very very much the head-up display i think the car quality it's really good and also it looks super beautiful much more beautiful than the previous version i have to say that this new version it's it's totally much beautiful than the previous uh, Yaris I, I definitely can say that uh, it's it's in top three most beautiful car in this class anyway let's go right here the steering is super light uh, in eco mode it's light it's easy to drive you have a, a perfect driving position surprisingly for me the driving position it's a little bit taller let me go a little bit backward it's a little bit taller so I feel like I'm in a I don't know higher end car it's, it's it's not that low on the ground i don't feel like i'm driving a small car also it's incredible smooth the acceleration uh the engine doesn't you know at low speed up to 50 km per hour you don't hear so much noise from the engine brakes are fine super easy it feels super light to drive now the petrol engine kick in as well I can hear it a little bit but it's definitely silent the visibility outside on the windows it's it's just gorgeous I mean huge windows on the side perfect visibility also on the mirrors now when you accelerate a little bit more aggressive you can hear the engine kick in the CVT transmission uh, make a little bit of noise but it's a relatively pleasant noise I should say now going here if you want to activate the cruise control you can do it from here uh, you activate it from here and the car will actually hold uh, the speed hold the distance between you and the car in front and also hold uh, somehow between the lanes it has an assistant lane assistant uh, this is most most of it it's very useful on the uh, highway auto hold i like that very much you don't have to hold your foot on the acceleration on the brake when you are staying at stop sign and right now it's just smooth if you press the acceleration slowly you don't hear that noise from the engine only when you press it aggressively now we are in echo mode still in echo mode let's change the driving mode let's go in power mode let's see how responsive the car it is you can see that right now it stays and oh i like that it's, it's much more responsive in in power mode you definitely feel a difference in acceleration also from the motor point of view and also from the engine point of view it's much more responsive wow it's it's quite fun it's quite fun to drive the steering it's still very assisted very soft um, even if you are in power mode um, so it's definitely not a crazy sporty feeling it's more much more like a comfortable compact light car i like it i like the way it drives i think it's a perfect perfect city car and I'm, I'm really excited and curious to see the consumption as well the the mirrors are so big i feel like i'm driving in an suv and also this window here it's side windows and also this one they are they are quite big so i feel like i'm driving a bigger car the position on the seats are lovely they are super comfortable uh, we have heated seat as well and and this is this is awesome also the noise from outside um, it's low 
I didn't try it on the highway probably we will do also a test drive on the highway but actually here at low speed kind of in the city driving I feel like the sound from outside it's, it's super good sound insulation it's good if you hear some music will be just perfect very very light the car come with independent McPherson suspensions on the front and semi-independent on the rear and um, suspension are good it feels quite quite good right now it's just stop and it's silent and if you try to accelerate you will see the car first of all will start in electric mode so this is really cool this is really useful at least when you drive in, in high traffic in the city at low speed the car will use the, the electric motor most of the time and it has a little bit of power so light so light so nice to drive yeah in in my opinion this 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 Yaris is in top top three my favorite subcompact cars oh and it has also a little bit of uh, power 10.5 seconds 0 to 100 not a super super sporty you have to go to GR version if you want a sporty crazy car but it's relatively good I like it I like what the car can do so in general um, it's just fine for daily driver is just perfect very good visibility very good comfort I feel really comfortable and I feel like I drive I can drive the car very very easy also if you for example come to work and you want to test out the turning circle 9.8 meters is the turning circle and you can turn it in so 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 small spaces I like it and it's, it's crazy easy to drive it the steering it's light we go in reverse and you can see the reverse camera as I said before not the best in the world but in combination with the mirrors it's just perfect it's it's so easy to drive I feel I, I love the car definitely love it it has four parking sensors on the front four in the back now let's go in B mode let's see if the B mode it's act like a regenerative brake if you accelerate and then release it yes you see right now you can see the graphic the car will regenerate more energy back in the battery so it act like a normal B like a brake you know that's why it's the B writing there so you accelerate and then release it and right now it's act like a like a brake I like that I use that also on my electric car uh, because in this way you don't have to use the brakes so the brakes will last for longer here the, the road is not that good we have a few bumps and we can kind of test the suspensions a little bit yes, they, they, are, they, are, they are fine they are fine uh, they are not super super comfy but they are they are there in the in the middle I should say so the B mode is recommended if you don't want to um, use too much the brake and you can anticipate the traffic you can save even more energy and you can drive more economical oh boy i love it and and, and sometimes this noise this sound from the cvt transmission it's quite nice i can't say i don't like it let's go back to echo my favorite mode and you can see the graphic there what happened with the with the energy we can go also here and you can see when the car will regenerate more so for example you accelerate and you release it right now and the car right now regenerate 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 is not that powerful so you have to use the brake in the end also by the way the brakes are, are quite nice and the, the brake pedal feel great it's very smooth it's very nice if you want to go there you go there yes sir quite nice and the head-up display is very useful I don't know if you can see it there the car can read the traffic uh, signs and the speed limit super cool super cool it's it's a great great car it's quite silent inside here they did a great job anyway about material quality and space we will talk in the review video so check out that video probably it's already on the channel if it's not um, subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out ok 
can see right now we drive slowly we drive steady and we try to drive as economical as possible until uh, back there to see the consumption I will try also this lane assist guys so actually steering active I just activate it right now and then we will we will try it also in the roundabout is doing just fine I'm, I'm sure we have 17 inch rims right now and I'm sure if you get the 15 ones that come standard the car over the bumps will be even more um, comfortable so that's something to keep in mind guys yes all right okay come on okay now let's set it up happened cancel let's try again Lanes. I don't know why it's not one to activate here I try this out also on the RAV4 and it's kind of the same story I don't know why it doesn't want to activate it. Please pay attention to the other radar cruise activated. Okay, but I don't know why it doesn't want to activate the, the cruise control. Come on, a little bit earlier was working. Anyway, you can see also the blind spot in the corner there of the mirror. And right now the car is just regenerate back the energy and I'm I'm really curious why why it doesn't want to activate this cruise control anyway this autopilot that I tested on the other car like RAV4 you know usually you just put it here and then activate it and pay attention to the other cars okay i pay attention to the other cars and then if you want to activate this you just go go down and it set up the speed and i don't know why it doesn't want to activate it a little bit earlier but yeah anyway um that was the test drive guys let me park it here let me show you how easy it is to park the car um yeah what can i say i like the car very much i'm really looking forward for the facelift version for the new version uh, where they're from my point of view i think they will improve the autopilot for sure they will improve autopilot and also they will come with this new multimedia system new cockpit that you see also on toyota uh, Corolla Cross if you want to see it I have it already on the channel uh, I'm really looking forward for the for the update but still until the update will be here I think this is a phenomenal car and I think it totally deserves the money now let me go in the front here to see the consumption I didn't forget about consumption 5.6 liter is the consumption not bad guys not bad at all really really good consumption for the way i drive and i think if i drive much more economical the i think 4.6 liter is the estimated consumption vltp and i think if i can drive only economical i will do a test drive a video only echo i will drive only only 100 percent echo to see what happened and how much i can get the consumption how low i can get it anyway that was the video i hope you enjoy it if you want to see the full review with the same car interior exterior technical data 
material quality check out on the channel probably the video is already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notifications when the video will come out also i hope the video was useful if you're in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in Zugville. the link will be in the description if you want to buy the car or see the car also my rating for this yaris from 1 to 10 as i feel it as i drive it as i see the economy it's quite good it's compact it feels good it feels quite premium to drive it i will give it a 9.9 .9. this is my rating and let's keep in mind this is the premium version like the top end version with glass with those awesome seats and all this technology i think it's totally deserved the, the, the price anyway that was the video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that guys so thank you very much so stay safe and see you in the next one bye guys Bye.